Welcome back guys. In this video, we'll be looking at how to turn your bulk into store credit for booster boxes. Now from the past few months of opening booster boxes, V boxes, tins, and various other products, I have some bulk I want to get rid of. 4,000 cards of uncommon and common to be exact. Now I've never done this before, so you'll see the steps I took to get this done. First up is counting your bulk. Most places recommend counting in stacks of 100 cards and then wrapping each stack of 100 cards individually. For this, I ended up using some old shipping supplies I had laying around from eBay. I found some non-padded, large enough bags that I was able to cut up into four pieces that I could use to wrap each stack of cards and protect them. Now, it will take you a couple times to figure out how to wrap the cards. Just make sure you get every corner to avoid any damage. The best description I found for this, just think of wrapping like a Christmas gift. And then um, you'll see how you can you can wrap each stack of 100 cards fairly easy from there. I did watch a couple of videos on wrapping bulk since any damaged cards, like I said, would not count. You could really use anything to wrap up the cards, even white, even plain white paper or newspaper. So whatever you have around should be fine. The main goal here is to protect the cards during shipping, like the edges in the corners from getting damaged. Here's a picture of the bulk before and after all wrapped up. And all it took about two hours to get all the cards counted and wrapped up. You could easily also use like sandwich bags or just plain paper, any other type of paper. But I, I used what I had and it worked pretty well. After that's done, I needed to decide where I was going to send my bulk. At the time of this video, I had three sites in mind um, that had good reputation for taking bulk. But you can check around. You might find other places with even better rates or maybe closer to you or maybe a local hobby store. That you could just take it to without having to ship it. But for me, uh, the first one I was going to look at is PKMN Coliseum. The second one was going to be Safari Zone. And the third one is going to be Dariums.com. Now, before I go too far into the next step, I did want to mention that I thought about selling my bulk on eBay or even splitting up the bulk and making smaller lots. Uh, I decided in my situation it was not worth my time. So, sure, I could have made a couple more bucks. By putting a little bit of time and effort into it but for me it was just not worth it i'd rather get it all done in one shot and just be done with it okay so pkmn coliseum the biggest thing with bulk is finding the rates for each of these places usually everything is right on the site if not there's usually an email you can reach out to as well to get more information so the rates for pkmn coliseum as i'm doing this video is three cents per card of common or uncommon with an option of trading in 3,000 cards for either a Battle Styles or Chilling Rain Booster box or trading in 3.5 thousand cards for a Vivid Voltage or Evolving Skies Booster box. Now, as you're looking at this site or any other site about submitting your bulk, the rules are listed on the site, pretty clear. They're usually uh, numbered out one, two, three, four, of what they consider as bulk. So make sure you understand it 100% before sending in your cards. For example, some places do not take basic energy cards. They take special energy cards are fine, but not the standard cards. This particular place did not take energy cards. Now, as expected, rates will vary depending on the kind of card you're sending. So if you're sending just basic rares, hollows, EX, GX cards, V cards, they're all listed on, on the site. Now, your job is to actually count them out. If you don't count them, they will count them as an uncommon or common card. Next up is Safari Zone. The nice thing about them is that they do accept energy cards, just base, basic energy cards at two cents per card. They also take jumbo cards at 25 cents each. And the, their current on common and common rate is at 0 0.048 a piece. Now, the one thing that they don't have is there's no incentive to do store credit with them. So whatever you get from your card is what you get either through their store credit or their uh, PayPal uh, payment. After that, I checked out dariums.com. Now their rate is at 0 0.04 per card of uncommon and common. And they offer an extra 10% if you go for their store credit. I do like their selection of products and prices are usually pretty fair at market, at market price or a little bit under sometimes, depending on what you're looking for. So I chose to go with dariums. So at the four cents per card, times 4,000, I'm looking at around $160 of 
um, our store credit plus the additional 10%. That should bring me up around 176 when it's all said and done uh, for the bulk. Now you have to minus anything like shipping cost. For me, uh, I ended up going with a flat rate box. That was the only box that I could fit 4,000 cards in. And that was uh, $15. All the sites that I looked at and mentioned that they expect mint like new condition cards uh, several times on their site. So if any car cards are damaged, they will not count them towards the total, leaving you to pay for the shipping back or just have them get rid of them. Um, I will see how that works out. Hopefully it doesn't happen to me since all the cards I'm sending are pack fresh, um, but I'll keep you posted. Now that I have everything properly packaged, I picked the store that I was gonna submit it to. I submitted the form online. Most places have their online forms right on the site. So you fill it out. Uh, then you print it out, um, their email confirmation. Um, so the next step was picking out the lowest shipping option uh, with tracking. Tracking is very important because you want to know exactly where your package is during transit and when it gets delivered to them. Now, depending on the volume of cards you're shipping, uh, when you package your item, you want to make sure there's no room, no space for the cards to move or shift around. If there is, you want to put some extra padding in there to make sure everything stays in place as it does the shipping, um, you know, through whatever you pick, UPS or FedEx, uh, because uh, boxes do get thrown around quite a bit. So you don't want them to get damaged from when you put them in the mail to when the place gets them. As mentioned earlier, I ended up using the USPS flat rate box. Uh, I used the medium uh, flat rate box as seen in the picture here. It was the perfect size to fit 4,000 cards once they were all wrapped nicely. Um, as you can see, they were a little bit over 16 pounds. Now, um, I did do some other research on possibly using media mail, which is not allowed. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't even try to ship through media. Um, just pay the extra shipping. And uh, it also helps with the speed as well, if you with the flat rate box. If you try to do media shipping, it could take several weeks for it to get to the destination. Most places will ask to give them a few days after the tracking shows is delivered to them just to allow them to process your bulk. Um, depending on the volume they get, they might need additional time. So just be patient. Now, depending on which store you picked or the store credit you picked to pay out, you might get the PayPal payment or the store credit or maybe a booster box. So just be ready for that email when uh, your, your bulk gets processed and you get your credit. Now for my submission, I, I shipped out the package on a Friday and by Monday it showed it was delivered using the flat rate box. So as you can see, it also helps with the times. Now within 48 hours of Darium's getting the package, I got an email from them with the store credit. So it was, it was fairly quick. I was really happy. Um, there was really nothing, no issues. I got the exact amount I was looking for. Um, so overall, it went fairly quickly. So after I got my store credit, I ended up picking up the Vivid Voltage booster box for $124 and a Battle Styles booster box for $99. I paid the difference uh, after everything was said and done. And a week later, I got my boxes. Overall, it was a very easy and painless process. Just keep in mind, I was submitting pack fresh cards. It was packaged very well and minus the shipping cost of $15. So um, you do have to pay that, but I would do it again. It, it saves me on the storage space for all those cards and any issues that I would have I would have had trying to sell them on my own on like on eBay or Craigslist. It was all just done in one shot. Well, I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you're considering uh, selling your bulk, I would highly recommend it. Don't forget to sub and like for more videos like this. And until next time, take care.